Greetings and salutations, YouTube. Friar Chuck here, and we have got a brand new series on the channel. We're going to be playing some Pokemon again. Uh, this is going to be Pokemon Vi Violet. Um, been a while since we had a Pokemon series on the channel at all. It's probably been over two years at this point. Because I think we did the last one we did was a Scarlet Nuzlocke. And that was probably right around the release for those games. So, yeah, it's probably been like two years. Um, so I think Scarlet and Violet is 2022. Last year, the DLC was the release for that. Uh, it was the Pokemon release for that year. And this year, I think there is none. Or maybe the Indigo Disc is the it was released this year. I don't know, it doesn't matter. Either way, we're doing a Pokemon Violet Surprise Lock, or Wonder Lock. Wonder Lock sounds better, but it's they've changed it to Surprise Trade. Um, if you've noticed, I've skipped a whole lot of the beginning because the beginning of this game is a freaking slog. It takes forever. We do have four Pokemon in our party waiting to be Wonder Traded. Um, normal Nuzlocke rules apply. Um, Pokemon faints. It's gone forever. It's dead. Um, we will put it away in a special box to be uh, reserved as the graveyard. Um, we can't nickname our Pokemon because they're traded, so that aspect of the Nuzlocke is not going to be there. Um, we can only catch one Pokemon per route, so that still applies. Um, so I'll go through um, and show you. I did actually catch a Pokemon, a duplicate Pokemon from another route because I thought that where I caught it, it would change the area, but it didn't, so I've already gone through and released it, but with our starter, Quaxley, which was in Cabo Poco, Lechonk was in Poco Path, uh, Gumshoes was in Inlet Grotto, and Azuril was in South Province Area 1, so that is four, it is the ability to wonder trade. Um, rules, basically, for right now, Pokemon levels 1 through 10, we can use um, anything uh, uh, if it's not 1 through 10, we have to trade it away. Um, and then we'll just see what the uh, badges apply beyond that, or what bad bonuses the badges give you beyond that, and I'll figure it out from there. Um, so, Duplicate and Species Clause is on. So, if I were to trade away this Quaxley and get a... God forbid, a Magic Carp. Oh! Magic cart for now will be traded away because I can't use it. Actually, no. Since I have four Pokemon, we can technically use the magic cart, so it is fair game. Um, but yeah, if I catch a ma if I get a magic cart with Quaxley and then trade Lechon, get another magic cart. Second one we can trade away until we get a Pokemon that is not a duplicate or a dupe, a duplicate or a species clause. That rule, however, is optional. So if I were like, okay, I got that Gyarados, and it faints, and I decide later on that I get another Magic Carp, and I want to keep it. I definitely can. Um, shiny Claws is on, which basically means I'm not going to use it for the Wonder Trade aspect of it, because that's not really a thing. But if I, in the wild, my first encounter, or if I just run into a Shiny Pokemon by chance, we can catch it, keep it, and uh, use it like we would one of the wonder traded Pokemon. Um, that's pretty much all the rules. Um, not going to do anything else beyond that. Uh, so let's get into it and start wonder trading. We are connected to, or we are not connected to the internet, connected to the internet, but my uh, switch is. We are communicating. I was worried for a little bit because when I first was going to start this and start recording, I deleted all my save data for this so I could actually, you know, save and everything. And then the uh, game came up and told me that I had a, uh, I had corrupted data, which I was very confused by since I deleted all of my data. Okay, thank you. Um, dog, it'd be amazing to get an Ursa Luna Blood Moon. I don't know that we could really use it, but, um, back. And we will go to surprise trade. Uh, oh, okay. So we have to put them into boxes. So 
I should have kept the Pokemon that Pokemon just to uh so we'll go ahead and deposit everybody except for the Ozreal as he will be the last one to under trade and then we'll go through and we'll swap them out um Poke Portal we're still connected to the internet so it won't take as long each recording session basically um so oh actually we just have to have one in the box I guess so yes So hopefully this is our starter Pokemon essentially. Hopefully we get something good. Um, it is cycling and working on it. Okay, surprise trade complete and we are going to check and see what we get. This is not, I don't really like this as opposed to the other games. Um, but we are sending our Quaxley away to Mikin. Um, if you are, oh, getting an, ooh. Okay, so we get a starter for a starter. So our starter is going to be a Charmander that I actually think is shiny. <laughs> uh, yes, we will. While we're doing this, we will look at... Okay, so it is level 5. It is shiny. Um, Flare Blitz, Outrage, Terra Blast, and Ancient Powder. It has Blaze, and it's holding an Ability Patch, which I think means we can change its ability to its Hidden Ability, which is Solar Power. Um, I'm going to have to guess to say this thing is probably hacked, but we're not battling with it, so I don't really care. Um, it does fit our classifications, and so interestingly enough, our starter Pokemon will actually be a starter. Um, now, I will say, Charizard is not my least favorite starter, but it's up there, just because it is terribly overused. Um, that one went through very quickly. Um, who would be my least favorite starter? Let's, let's see, from Gen 1, it is Charizard. Gen 2, it's Meganium. Gen 3, it's probably Blaze again. Gen 4, it would be in Poli... Oh, okay, a Wiglet. Um, Gen 5 would be... Samurott, I guess. Um, Gen 6 would be, uh, Delph Fox, although I do like Delph Fox a lot, still. Delph Fox was actually my first choice, because when I saw Finnegan, I thought it was going to be amazing, and then it just got, it just was bad. So this Wiglet is level 12, so we said 1 to 10, so it is going to have to be traded away, even though it is Terra Ghost, which is pretty neat. Uh, also, this has an unfortunate ability. It's plus attack minus D or minus speed. Um, so we're gonna trade this Wiglet away, and hopefully we can get something level one or a like twelve is not unreasonable, but I still feel like we're gonna have the same type of issues with it. Um, I do think. We skipped the main part of the story. I mean, if you really need to know what went on, you know the mer the. Legendary Pokemon crashes in, we go rescue it and get saved. We meet Arvin, we meet Nimona, all that cool stuff, and now we're here. Tutor basic tutorial to set up the story. Ooh, okay, so the Wiglet trade is going to be for a Ponyard. Good chance that that's not going to be able to be used, but we will check and see. So take good care of something in Japanese, maybe Chinese. We're also going to get a lot of slots filled in our... Uh, Pokedex with this um, and I do have both DLCs installed too so we will be able to go there and uh, like I said good chance it's gonna have to be traded away and it is so first episode's probably gonna be a lot of wonder trading because there are a couple more spots that we can go to get Pokemon um, and so we're gonna want to trade those away too um, but from here on out it's going to be a we're swapping mons, or we're sh every time we catch the the mon, we'll be trading it away. Okay, so really kind of hoping we'd get that pawn yard, but we are going to get a pommy, pomo, pomo, something. I don't. What is this Pokemon called? Pomot. Okay. I don't know. It's we get the. Uh, the electric mouse of this uh, generation. Again, one of my least favorite electric mice. 
Um, but it is level 7, so it can stick around. Uh, mine is special defense plus speed, and not a terrible nature for the sake of this, for the sake of a let's play. Uh, young Goose, you are off. So, so far, our first two Pokemon are Charmander and Palmon. Um, a Charmander that I'm really thinking is probably hacked. But, again, I don't really care. So, our trade was completed. I'm going to go ahead and move these mons around. So, there's our first two Pokemon. And our surprise trade was completed. I don't know why they traded, changed it from Wonder Trade to Surprise Trade. Wonder Trade just sounded better. And Wonder Lock sounds infinitely better than Surprise Lock, but here we are. <laughs> what are the odds that this is from the same exact person? No. However, it is a shiny Charmander that is definitely ginned. It does have solar power. It's level 10, shiny. Uh, it is timid. Scratch Girl Ember Smokescreen. Um, this thing has a really scary moveset, but if I'm going to trade a dupe, it has to be this one. So, off we go. I don't know why... Oh, well, that was good. Oh, no, it's not. Okay. I don't know why people are ginning, like, level 1 mons to just gin the thing that you want and move on. But it is what it is. They may just be doing that and sending them up in surprise trade just because... Smocky2316. I'm gonna have to guess and say that this is something real basic. Ooh! Okay, that is a Teddy Ursa. That's not that's not super basic. That's pretty neat. Um, Carly the Teddy Ursa. Um, okay, the little bear Pokemon. Can we evolve that thing? Okay, we can obviously evolve it into Ursa Ring, but would we be able to evolve it into Ursa Luna? Uh, doesn't matter because it's gotta go. It is nice, though, that you can go do other stuff while the trade is going on. So this is South Province Area 1. Which is where we caught the, uh... Azuril. So we don't have a catch here, but we do... We can come pick up items. Okay. <laughs> so, somehow we have managed to see two sh different shiny Charizards. And that is a... Bramblin? I think that's what that's called. Oh, no, that is a full-on Bramble Gast. I don't think that is going to be able to be used, because that's the evolved form. I would uh, love to keep it, but it is level 31, so trade it shall be. We're having a hard time doing this. We've had to trade this mon off three times now. Oh, we can claim a reward for the progress we've made on our Pokedex. We are going to see a lot of mons this way, which is which is cool. Um, off it goes. Its eyes make me uncomfortable. They're not attached to anything. So at first, when I was I decided I wanted to do a new Pokemon playthrough, what is is that a Tynamo? Or is that top two gear? It's definitely a gen Pokemon. Tatsugiri droopy form. Yeah, let me uh, look at that thing. So it is shiny. It's level 100 with water gun, splash dragon pulse, and muddy water. Okay, well, you must go, sir. Thank you for your contributions to our Pokedex, but that's about all you're here for. 
biggest problem with Wonderlocks is this right here, not being able to find Pokemon that you can actually keep and use. That thing shiny being all white made me uncomfortable. I was like, is this thing broken? I mean, it's not legal technically because if Nintendo up uh, Listy, that's gonna have to probably be traded. At least I hope, because if that's like a level 5 Blissey, which I guess in theory you could have. That would be a really disappointing mod to have to use in a Let's Play like this. It's level 75, so yeah, off you go. I just want to fill the. T I just want to finish out the surprise trades, man. I could probably. I should probably start battling, and getting. Of course, it would be. It would make more sense. I've got the XP share. It would make more sense to train all of them at once if I can. Yeah. Anyway, when I decided I wanted to start to shiny my low tick, that's not. <laughs> www.pokemon.gg. Er, oh, yes, because that thing's probably gonna have to go. Level 100, Surf, Ice Beam, Dragon Pulse, Protect, Modest, Shiny, Trade It. Doesn't even have the good ability. <laughs> Uh, anyway, yeah, when I first start, when I decided I was going to do this, first I was going to do a mono poison lock. Um, which you can't do in this game, it would be a little bit difficult. The poison types aren't real prevalent, and this gen didn't really introduce a, a, like very many new ones. Um, and poison is my favorite type. Okay, that's cool. A watch roll. That we should be able to use, hopefully. Please be like level one. Looks like, boy, look like Private from Penguins of Madagascar. I like Watcher and Kill the Watcher a lot. Okay, he is level 20. Damn it. <laughs> I mean, I could make that a non mandatory rule and just like only traded if I want to and I could because like I've got two Pokemon that I can use now and possibly three if the pause roll if I can actually get a Pokemon for it <sighs> dang it I really wanted to use that thing sending it away and we are going to get back a squabbit oh that's lovely if it, we got of all of the Pokemon that we got sent in this Wonder Trade, this is the worst one, and it's gonna be the one that we have to use. I have a feeling. Cheeky Pokemon. Oh, okay. It's cheeky, cheeked up on a Saturday. Okay, let's make sure. But I'm, no, he's level 19. We actually can't use it. Come on, please. I will take garbage at this point. Just give me something I can use. Uh. Did it actually go through? Oh, it did. Okay. That just happened really quickly. I didn't think it actually went through. Noah. Okay, Noah, you sound like the sort of fellow that's just gonna send me a normal mon. And a gray ball. That's the evolved form. We're gonna have to trade it. Oh my gosh. You people. Tinka tough, not tinkly or whatever the tinky or tink or whatever the hell it's called. That's the middle evolution of those. 
Yes, begin another surprise trade. Send this thing away. Level 35. Brutal Swing, Metal Claw, Flash Cannon, and Play Rough. Okay, Wonder Trade is successful. Oh, this is a really unfortunate first 20 minutes of the video. It's 20 minutes long, and I have accomplished... I haven't even accomplished getting the full team Wonder Trade it off. It's nuts. Um, but I will do all the Wonder Trade... Unless we get into a spot where I catch, like, a bunch of Mons at once. Weasel! Okay, that's reason. There's a Weasel right there. The Sea Weasel Pokemon. Or Weasel. Okay, so. Weasel. Level 5. Sweet. It's a Mon that we can use. That means we just have to trade off the Ozoril. Instant. I actually wouldn't mind getting a Meryl or an Azumarill because I have that ability patch, so I could put huge power on it. Okay, that is a shiny Electabuzz. Electabuzz is possible to be this to be low enough level. Because you do not have to evolve it from Elicid is not a mandatory baby form, I don't think. Oh. Well, now it's an Electivire. Okay. Oh, dog, shiny Electivire is amazing. I'm probably not going to get to keep this. It'd be cool if we could, though. It is level 100. Thunderbolt, Psychic, Volt Switch, and Focus Blast. With Motor Drive, it is uh, timid. So, adios, Mr. Electivire. So that does answer the question. Pokemon do not lose their nicknames when you evolve them. I think this down here might be a new area. I was pretty, I would have been very happy with the Electivuzz. Actually, now that I think about it, you may not, you may have to have, I think you do have to have an Elekid before Electabuzz, it's not one of the, okay, different electric type, this person's definitely getting the upgrade, um, a Lowland Geodude, I like a Lowland Geodude, he's cool, so that's Rock Electric, we already have an electric type, so I just realized that, <laughs> damn it, okay, he is level 64, so it doesn't matter, off you go. Give me some diversity. Let me have a grass type. Fairy type would be a, okay. No, let me be be careful with the fairy type because I could get like an Iggly Buff. I'd use the hell out of that Jigglypuff though. I wouldn't even evolve it because Wigglytuff is goofy. Okay, it's a Zangoose and a Repeat Ball. Okay. Why does it not have claws? Are its claws retractable? Dog, I didn't know that. That's so cool. Level 35, doesn't matter what you are. I think this changed areas. I really did not know that this thing is trade uh, had retractable claws. That's pretty cool though. Sh <laughs> Shiny King Gambit, I bet that's level 100 and Jin. Uh, maybe it's not Jin. 
Shiny King Gambit does look very nice, though. Big Blade Pokemon. BBE. Big Blade Energy. Yep. Because we're going to have to get rid of that dude. I have a feeling. Yep. Level 100. Shiny. Iron Head Knight Slash. Torment Slash. The ability Supreme Overlord. Um, if I remember how that works, it has to... I think it has to faint. Or other mods have to faint in your party for it to work. Um, so that's not real useful for a Nuzlocke. So that probably means we're losing. Although I guess, like, you know, if it does happen, that's a good way to, like, keep yourself from losing the Nuzlocke entirely. Oh my gosh, this is how it ends. With a freaking Krikatog. <laughs> Please be a level 100 Krikatog. Uh, oh, well, it'll be fully evolved soon. Krikatog evolves at level 10. Okay, so... Let's check and see. So Krikatog is level 9. Bug okay, so it'll be a Krikatog really soon. All right, so that is the team as of right now on current construction. So let's move Krikatot over to the party and move Weasel over to the party. So Weasel doesn't have any water type moves. Um, we do have an electric move on him. The, this, this Charmander's move set for level five is outrageous. Um, Uh, I'm going to keep this ability patch for now. Because, uh, I don't know what we're going to get. Like, okay, for instance, say we get a Meryl in a Wonder Trade, which is a very real possibility. Um, I'm going to want to have that ability patch so that I can make it huge power if it's not already. You know what I'm saying? Because Meryl's pretty bad, but with huge power... It is uh, usable and is actually pretty good, especially in the sense of a Nuzlocke. So let's just uh, go ahead and gather up some items here. Has not switched over yet, I don't believe. You're still in South Province Area 1, I didn't see anything come up. I don't know if it ever switches in here. So getting a Flamigo would be awesome. Azarill, there's a TM down there that we can't get to. Drowsy. This is where the this is where the child predators hang out. Look at all of them. Another gimme good up here. We are gonna want to find those because again, in the event that we were to find a or we were to get a gimme ghoul in a trade. I want to have a hundred of them things to be able to evolve it into uh, whatever the hell it's evolved for. Golden Go, that's what it is. The string cheese dude. Or the cinnamon guy from uh, <laughs> Full Jack's box. I hope this guy's not going to have really high level Pokemon. Axel the Student. Squawkabilly. Shiny Charmander, he is Intimidate, that's unfortunate. Level 7. Uh... Nuzlocke has started, by the way. Um, figured y'all could kind of uh, figure that out, but yeah. Nuzlocke is... Either way. Ooh, okay, we cannot survive another one. We either need to crit and ancient power, or we're gonna have to switch off. Switching out it is. What are the odds this thing has Pursuit? 
Oh, that'd be unfortunate. Okay, so we're gonna get Pombot and Charmander some experience. Well, they're all good experience because they. Uh, he went for Growl on the Switch. I should have just. I could have stayed in. I need a quick attack. Go. Thundershock, finish it off. And there we go. Squawkability. 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 So, Krikatot's gonna evolve. No, I don't need smoke screen. We're about to have our first evolution of the Nuzlocke. Yay! Actually, technically, the second since the Electabuzz evolved when it got here. And it's a Krikatoon. Oh, it learned Fury Cutter. So it does have a physical bug move now. Um, we don't have to catch the first Pokemon we see just because of the nature of this, uh... Oh, there's a Hapini down there. I need, a uh, need to heal up Char Charmander, because that... That'll give... Some big experience energy from here. Weasel learned so, but not a real. What the hell is a peony dust? Okay, we have a rare candy, so that's cool. Um. Okay, we'll go work back the other way. I don't think there's a. I don't think there's a new area here. Let me check the map. It doesn't specify. This up here is. Oh wait, I know how to get out of here, out of this. Okay, so we are in area one still. So we've still got Los Platos up here. South Province area five is the upper part of this. I am gonna just I'm gonna fly back here. I'm gonna try and get another Pokemon. That is Obviously, the goal is heal up. So, other than the Charmander, not the most exciting team in the world, but... So... We are currently in Los Platos, so as long as we don't see the area change, then we can assume that whatever the next thing is we catch will be in Los Platos. South Province Area 1. Okay. So, can't catch anything there. I don't think there's actually any mods we can catch in Los Platos. I don't think we can... Because I'm not going to make it either so that, like, if the... You know, we can make the mod follow us here and... We actually encounter it in Los Platos. Now, this over here. If there's. No, this is still South Province Area 1. Okay. Area 1 still. Okay, so we've got all of the mods that we can encounter in this area. That is perfectly fine. Oh, I just stepped right on that sucker. Didn't even see it. So let's do some training here on our mods. Uh. I got two whole Pokemon. Oh yeah, kid.
So Azurel is part fairy type, so we will uh, not be using Outrage. Thundershock it then. I'll have to look. This thing has got a really goofy uh, evolution requirement um, between its second and third stage. So I'll have to look that up and actually and actually know what it is for sure. And Dower Faints, Palmot should level up. He does not, we got no XP for that. Uh, give me the Hapini's word thing. <laughs> we are not getting good experience from this. There are a lot of trainers here. It's real simple. Honestly, of all the Pokemon we got, the only one that I'm really, like, I really did want to use that Watchroll, even though we, we did have the, uh, I, I love Paul Day and Weaver, Bob Sire, they're amazing. Um, even though we did already have the, uh, the Palmot, I did really want to use that Watchroll. So I'm probably not going to do these battles here, just because I don't think it's worth my time. I am going to go ahead and release the... Uh, more trainers though we get a prize uh, I want prizes Great Balls, 10 Startups, a Thunderstone. That could... Oh, that's the 30 Pokemon mark. Um, okay, I think I'm going to wrap the episode up here. Uh, didn't really accomplish a whole lot because it took 8 years to Wonder Trade everything. Um, but we do have our team started. I think in between episodes, I probably am going to go ahead and just battle all the trainers here. Just to get that knocked out, I can get, the, can get that uh, gift. And then we will go from there. So I'll see you guys in the next one. This is Friar Chuck saying bye-bye.